What's up guys, today I'm going to work on my truck 2003 Ford 250 So there's an oil leak I think from ICP sensor I'm not sure uh, If you go down here, the transmission have too much oil Engine oil and Then the port two over here So if you see the transmission have too much oil, engine oil I think it's over there here like this maybe so the ICP sensors down there if I take the shield I can get it but it will be harder to record and work so to take the shield there is two bolts I checked it'll be harder it's not the to reach from here to there you need to huh it's not easy but there's two so you need to go behind this exhaust so the car need to be cold, otherwise it can't work. <laughs> There's one I can reach, uh, one, and then two. If you take two the two bolts, definitely you can find the, the sensor. And then the sensor need to be cleaned. There's a cleaner for the for the, the for the wire. I need to buy that, and then I need to buy the sensor. But first, let me take the shield and then uh, check it out. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay, guys. So there's three millimeter around here. This one, if you can see my hand over, or if you can see this hand, it's over there. It's hard to see down there. And then ten millimeter. Uh, that one is it's not easy to show you. Two. It's next to it things around here yep, around here it is you need to find it by your hand, fingers so that one's in now start easy let me show you if you can see now you can see the 30 millimeter that one 10 millimeters next to it it's on this side not over, on this side so now I need to take it off it's not going to be easy I'll try so I need to take it off. It'll be harder to record in work. Okay guys, so I will take here the bolts, 30 millimeter and 10 millimeter. So I use this tool, small tools. The 10 millimeter was loose, so I just get it from here by this one. Too small, it fits there perfectly for for uh, uh, 30 millimeter I use this ratchet, the bigger one. I don't know how long it is, this one maybe. Okay, so I've left uh, the shield up there because if I take it off all the way here, maybe I can put it back. It'll be harder to put it back. So it's easier to do it from here. So if you see the, I, I, I don't think you can see it, the cable for the ICP sensor, the cable have oil on it. I think it's leaking from there, so I'm going to replace it. Only I can see down, or only that one there is oil. Uh, so it's easier to do it from here. If you do it from there, you need to take too many stuff. So first try from here. If you can do it, go up there. But I suggest to do it this way. But here the sensor uh, to show you to will be harder down there there's oil over there uh, I can't put my camera there so I hope you enjoyed this video so I need to order a part hopefully it's dust sensor if not uh, I don't know what will happen okay so I hope you enjoyed this video okay guys I got the ICP sensor tool here it is uh, snap-on tool but I, I didn't get from snap-on because I don't have snap-on guy to sell it for me it's cheaper from snap-on if you get it from the guy from the from the truck but if you get it from the snap-on website the shipping is uh, 70 something but this one I got is from 55 not 55 something around there I think I'm not sure uh, so if you see how tall this one is, so it is 
so hopefully I can take it off. If you want to take from the top one, you could, but you need to drain the coolant. That so you need to take too many stuff from the top. But if you go from the bottom, uh, you need to take only the shield, so it's not that much hard. But it is harder to to get it from the for the bottom. So I hope you enjoyed the video. To take the shield, it is 30 millimeter and a 10 millimeter. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Okay guys, now it's loose. It's hard to see. Where is the pool? It's up there. It's hard to see. So now it's loose. Now I'm going to take it by hand. Otherwise I don't want to block my space down there. So let me take it off and see. Okay guys, I got the sensor out. Here it is. It's coming from inside here. So now I'm going to put the new one. Before I do that, I'm going to clean the wire. I'm going by this. This one is the wire cleaner. So I'm going to clean it and I put on the new one. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay guys, now I just cleaned the wire. It's over there. The yellow one down here. So I'm going to put it back and then after I Plug it in the wire, I'm going to clean the over here the oil by brake cleaner and then I'm going to see. Hopefully it doesn't leak anymore. I'll clean the video and then I'm going to put the shield back. It is tricky to put the shield because uh, you can't see anything over there. So I'm going to check it out after I put it back. Alrighty guys, I put the shield back, everything's cleaned up. I clean it by brake cleaner. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to drive it. And then I'm going to see if it is, if it is leaking or not. So I'm going to see. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And I'm going to see tomorrow. Uh, to put the shield a little bit harder, especially the 30 millimeter, you can see, you just feel it by your finger. So it is easy to do this way than from the top one for sure. For me it's easier, I don't know for you guys it will be easier or not. For me it's the easy one. I am not going to tear the too many stuff up there. So I'm going to see, I'm going to test tomorrow. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Okay guys, I drive the truck. So it's now leaking from the ICP sensor. We're good, the wire doesn't have any oil, it's hard to show you, only have the oil pants leaking. For now I'm not going to touch it that one, it is hard process to do that, I take the engine and replace too many gaskets for that, that one's the in the future, but next time if I have, I have video, stay tuned for the diff oil I'm going to change and this one too and the U joints some over there and I have some bushing to change for this it's not an easy job but stay tuned for that I don't know where I'm going to do it so I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe